You're calling, I'm falling Don't know what it is you do to me, yeah Where you go, I follow Let's go Welcome to the kitchen, the Built for Anything kitchen Where I murder vegetables Alright, shout out to the person who hooked me up with this, man. Appreciate it. Now, as you know, we are just a couple days away from the Super Bowl, right? And if you're like me, it's the biggest event if you're a sports fan. And you're probably thinking, what are some things that I can make? Especially if I'm vegan and I'm going to have some guests over. Like, what can I do? What can I make that's going to entice them to want to come over and eat this food, right? So... I'm going to show you guys how to make cauliflower wings. I don't know why they call it wings because it's not really wings, but I don't know, cauliflower knobs? I don't know, whatever. But we're going to do some barbecue cauliflower. And before I do that, guys, I'm just going to show you. This is what I do. This is my sweet potato. I like to cut them up into, you know, shapes like this, right, to fry. Basically, these are fries. And I like to season them really well. Salt, pepper, um, some Italian seasoning. I put, uh, what else? Maple syrup in there as well. And guys, I mean, let me tell you something. If you ever doing things like this where you need to like coat it, it's best to use Ziploc bags. Like this was a trick that my mom showed me a while ago and you know, I always use it. So this way it's just easy. You just literally, oh snap, oops. Don't do like me, make sure the bag is closed <laughs> next time. Uh, we move on to this. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna create your batter. I got two bowls, okay? This is gonna be for my batter, which we're gonna do first. And this is gonna be for my uh, barbecue sauce, all right? So I'm just gonna put that to the side, all right? So real quick, you wanna use flour. I'm using gluten-free. Okay, um, you could use almond flour, you could use whatever other alternative flours out there that are gluten free or whatever. So this is the one that I'm going with. I'm gonna do three quarters cup of the flour, half a cup of almond milk, okay? You could use soy milk, whatever non-dairy based milk. And also it's gonna be half a cup of water. And as far as my spices are concerned, I have paprika, which I'm gonna do one teaspoon of this. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of garlic powder, okay? And also one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper, okay? So that's gonna make my, my batter. Let's go out and dance the night away. Going like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for the heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Whisk everything up. Make sure that there's no clumps. Got my trusty knife with me. Now I'm using an organic um, cauliflower. So the way you could tell is that, you know, you see some of these oversized cauliflowers, that's because they're GMOs. You really want to try to get organic as possible. Now always make sure you wash your vegetables before anything, because you never know what could be caught up in it. So. Always make sure you wash your vegetables. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer this into my batter, soak it up, and I'm gonna put it in my pan. Here's a tip for you guys. Use parchment paper, okay? Do not use oil. Just gonna dip everything in. In fact, I mean, you could do one at a time, but I'm just gonna toss in a few just to make things a bit quicker. Just make sure that it's covered. Okay guys, so I have everything lined up. It's in here, got my buffalo wings, right? And have my sweet potato fries that I did, I put that in here. The oven is all ready, it was set for 450 degrees. This is gonna be in there for 25 minutes, the cauliflower, but halfway through, I'm gonna take them out, flip them over. Um, this will be in there for about 20 minutes as well. Okay, so while that's in there, 
I like to keep it simple, guys. I got dinosaur barbecue, wango, tango, habanero, hot barbecue sauce. It's gluten-free, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. Um, it's vegan. I, I mean, I just, I just like to keep it simple. But what I do do, now this is hot. What I do do is I take this, I pour some in here. I do add a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of maple syrup. So I like that. So this way I get that sweet and spicy type flavor going, right? And then, you know, kind of whisk it all together. So this is important. You wanna, you wanna get this going now, all right? Because what's gonna happen is once that's done, once we flip it over halfway and we take it out, we're gonna dip them in here and we're gonna put them back. And I'm talking about the cauliflower. We're gonna put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so I took out the cauliflower wings. Now it's time to dip them in the barbecue sauce and then put them back in the oven for another 25 minutes, all right? We are all done. Do you see this? Do you, do you see this? Mmm. Everything came out so, so good. So, so good. Got my celery on the side. Got my sweet potato fries. Mmm. Amazing. You have to, have to try this recipe, guys. If you do, let me know what you think. Tag me in your photos. Leave your comments down below. If you're not following me, follow me on Instagram, at Built For Anything. I post a lot of my meals like this on there. So definitely that's the best way to get in contact with me. Thank you for watching this video, I should say. I'm gonna go finish the rest of this while I watch the football game. Peace and love, guys. It's your boy, Built For Anything. I will catch you on the next video. Peace.